always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. And we've gotten really lucky the last couple of days with all this sunshine and above normal temperatures. The good news is it's not just a fluke. It continues for several days ahead of us, even tonight. We'll take a live look at your satellite and radar right now. Even the few patchy clouds that we saw this afternoon clearing out down to our southeast. We'll have mostly clear skies tonight that will favor temperatures being a little bit on the cooler side, but overall not too bad. Still trending above normal. Live look over Muskegon this evening. Really calm waters out there. Blue sky. Guys, again, not a whole lot to complain about, especially for early to mid-April. The one thing we are keeping a close eye on, though, are those flood warnings. We saw several areas crest this weekend, and now those levels have gone down pretty significantly. Three warnings do remain in effect, all for the Grand River, uh, two of which, the one in Kent County, expires Friday morning. That is the latest, uh, the one off in Ottawa County Thursday evening. And then we'll have a couple others that will expire tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures tonight, as mentioned, it's quiet out there and fairly mild, still a little bit above normal. We'll manage to bottom out in the mid to upper 40s across the region. 47 will be your low in Grand Rapids. And high temperatures continue that warming trend into tomorrow. We'll see a lot of upper 60s to low 70s. Cooler by the lake, though, so keep that in mind. 61 degrees in Muskegon, uh, 71 down in Kalamazoo. A quiet future cast, but once again, we will pull in a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow, so very similar to what we saw today. Breaks of sunshine, though, will continue continue into the afternoon and it will be a bit breezy winds coming from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour at times and overall we're staying dry and sunny for the next several days we do now though have our next rain and potentially snow chance in that eight day forecast it'll come into the weekend and likely carry through monday morning before we'll settle into a dry pattern behind it and with that you'll notice our temperature outlook has kind of flipped it used to be filled with those reds and oranges indicating well above normal temperatures which is what we're seeing now now, but six to 10 days from now, not so much. Much of the Midwest will be trending below normal, which will more than likely put your high temperatures back in those 40s. So enjoy the next couple of days while it lasts. Up to 69 degrees tomorrow, mid 70s by the middle of the week with breezy conditions. Friday, likely the warmest of your eight day. 77 will be your high, and even a few cities might be able to hit that 80 degree mark the first of the year. Now into the weekend is when things get interesting. 75 on Saturday, but a strong cold front passes through, and will plummet to a high of 48 on Sunday, and it'll be cold enough that we could be seeing a few flakes flying into Monday. That's crazy. Isn't that great? Yeah, we're not looking almost. at that far. <laughs> wow. I know. Blake put it in. I told him to take it out. Let's just ignore it, right? Let's just pretend it won't happen. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks, Sarah. Sarah.